Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm kind of lounging in my living room today, being pretty lazy because the last several days have been pretty darn um, busy with Thanksgiving and Black Friday shopping and all that good stuff. So I thought I would film a video for you guys um, with all the stuff I've accumulated over the last couple days with Black Friday shopping and a few other things I've picked up along the way as well. So get ready. Um, this haul is pretty, it's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of stuff I didn't need. And um, also, if you are a family member who is watching this video, turn the video off now because there are a few items in here that are gifts that I purchased for people. So, sorry, drinking my diet cream soda. Um, so anyways, let's go ahead and get into the haul. So the first place that I'm going to talk about is Bath and Body Works. So went there. Ooh, it feels like... I just pulled all my bags out of my car and I thought something was leaking. Um, but I went to Bath and Body Works and they're having buy six of the antibacterial soaps and you get them for $20. So I had to pick up a few for gifts for people. My mom loves these for her kitchen. So I got Sugared Vanilla Wish and this one will be going to my mom for uh, like a stocking stuffer for Christmas. I also got Sparkling Pink Champagne. This one is going to be for my sister-in-law along with um, a couple other ones. I also got Lemon Meringue Cheer. This one again is for my mom. She loves lemony stuff for her kitchen so I thought that would be nice for the holidays. Uh, let's see, next I got Kitchen Lemon um, for my sister-in-law because who doesn't like a lemon scented kitchen, right, you know? Um, also for my sister-in-law I got the black, ew, Huh, there's a lot of condensation on these from being out of my car. Um, I got the Black Cherry Merlot for my sister-in-law as well. I swear it feels like this stuff has leaked. But I don't know. I don't like that. Ew. Um, and then I also picked up the Caribbean Escape. And that one's for my sister-in-law as well. I thought that would be like a nice fun scent uh, when springtime comes around. Now because I purchased $15 or more at Bath & Body Works, I had a coupon to get a free item up to $13. So I picked up the Hard Working Hand and Body Cream, um, the Fresh Picked Line, and Meyer Lemon. This stuff smells amazing. If you like lemon scented things, the clean smell of a lemon, you're going to love this stuff. They had a bunch of other scents and it was so busy in there. This is the only one honestly that I got to smell. Um, and I really, really enjoyed it, so I decided to get that as my free item for myself. And then also when I was there, they gave me a $10 off coupon off of $30 or more. I know you can find those online, but just in case I decide to go back and pick up more stuff for family members for the holidays, um, it would come in handy. Because sometimes I honestly, um, forget to pull them up on my phone, so. Alright, the next place I went is Dillard's. And they had an additional 50% off of all the Clarence um, accessories. So purses, jewelry, um, socks, scarves, stuff like that. And there's a purse I've been wanting for a really long time, ever since I saw Alexander McQueen's um, clutch bag that came out, I think like a year or two ago, maybe longer. I've been wanting it for forever. And I, obviously I can't afford Alexander McQueen. So I looked at Dillard's and they had one and I didn't want to pay a whole lot of money for it. I don't go out all that often um, to be using a clutch purse. So I thought that, you know, it was kind of expensive at the time. But they had this purse marked down. It is the cutest clutch purse. It has the rings around the top here. Um, one's a like cheetah, like a rhine, big old huge rhinestone a skull and then a um, glitzy little bow here and it's so cute with the stud detailing here on the front and then you open it up and it has a little gold chain which I probably won't use um, but I just thought it was the cutest little clutch purse. This purse had been $65 and I didn't want to spend $65. I mean it's not that expensive but for someone like me who doesn't go out that often I thought that was a little much for a purse that I might wear once a year, once maybe twice a year if I go to Vegas or something. Um, but this was on sale for 45 bucks and half of that. So I got it for $22.50. So you really can't pass that up for a really fun purse. And I might end up wearing it to a holiday party. I need to come together with some kind of outfit. Um, next place, Sephora. So I hit that up on actual Black Friday. Um, some of the shopping I did on Thanksgiving night, unfortunately. Um, but on Black Friday, 
Um, Sephora was having a bunch of stuff, as most of you probably know, for $10. And I really have been liking my sample of my Purity Face Wash. So I thought that I needed to probably pick up a few of the Purity Face Washes. So I got one and two of the Purity Face Washes. Um, and this is the three-in-one cleanser for face and eyes, which I really like that because I have a hard time, like you probably know, getting my mascara off my eyes um, completely. So this stuff works pretty good to do that. So I got two of those. And then also, I've been wanting to try the Buxom um, lipsticks or the lip like crayon thing. So this is a little gift set um, for $10. Um, it's a $29 value. You get a full size of the full on lipstick and a mini sculpted lash mascara. Um, so let's open that up. I haven't opened up any of this stuff yet. So kind of eager to see all what I got. So you get the size of the Buxom mascara. So a pretty decent size. For me, the sample sizes are the best sizes because um, I don't wear mascara every day and I have so many different ones. So they dry out on me pretty quick. So for me, it's a better bang for my buck to actually get the sample, um, sample sizes. And then also I got the um, lip thing. Looks like this in the color. I don't know if you'll be able to see the color very well. It's like a nudie, nudie pink. And the name of it is Amsterdam. Yeah, the name is Amsterdam. And I think the mascara is black. Is it a black? Yeah, black is black mascara. So I'm excited for those two things there. So next, moving on from Sephora, I went to the Limited. Went to the Limited. And they had 50% off the whole store, even clearance items. I didn't really need anything. And, you know, I was just kind of in there shopping with my little cousin. And we decided just to dart in there and see what, you know, if there was something pretty cheap we could pick up. And I found a pair of jeans, actually, in the clearance section. They're skinny leg, low rise, slender waist, curvy hip and thigh, 917 jeans. Um, and they're the limited edition ones. They kind of look like this. They have a little pattern kind of on them. So I thought they were really really cute little jeans and they were originally where's the price at oh okay they were originally 80 bucks and then they were marked down to 39.99 then they had a final sale markdown of 19.99 and it was supposed to be half of that so ten dollars well they must have missed putting in one of the markdowns on here because i got them for five bucks so they must have been marked down to 9.99 and then half of that so i was very happy with these they're a skinny leg Jean, I think they'd be nice with like a big sweater for the winter or they'd be fun in the spring and summer with some flip flops. So got that. I also went to Ulta and the only reason we went to Ulta is because my cousin was shopping over at Toys R Us and Ulta's in the same parking lot. We saw there was a bunch of cars there so we're like uh yeah we didn't know they were gonna be open on Thanksgiving Day so we had to go there and pick up a few things. So I didn't go too crazy at Ulta. Um, they did have this the Urban Decay um, Dangerous Palette. And these are the colors that it has in it. There's um, six eyeshadows. And you also get a travel size naked lip junkie lip gloss in it as well. And it seems like a really fun little kit. I didn't get to look at the colors because they didn't have a sample one out um, on display. But I thought the palette was really... Ow, that hurt. I thought the palette was really nice, especially for travel because it looks really sturdy. If I could get it out of the package to show you guys. Um, okay. Really almost got it all right so yeah it's a cute little package um it's kind of like patent leather and it's pretty hard and it has a zipper here and you unzip the palette and then inside of the palette you have your mirror up top right here and then it has six different eyeshadow shades so the colors are there's a purpley like a metallic purple color in here called gravity there's a turquoisey metallic color called loaded a blue metallic called Evidence. There is um, kind of a copper color, coppery bronze color called Deeper, and it reminds me of one of the colors in the, I think, Naked 2 palette. Um, there's also Mushroom, which I already have a sample of that came in something I got at Sephora as a free gift or something like that. And then also it comes with a gunmetal color um, that doesn't have as much shine or shimmer to it, and it's called Ace. And then you also get this little teeny tiny little lip gloss if I can get it out this itty bitty little guy 
Let's see if you can see it right here. It's really tiny, and the color it's in is Naked. So that one is just a kind of a frosty pink color, and it says it is a cooling and plumping lip gloss. I've been really getting into the plumping, cooling, um, like mentholated type tingly lip glosses here lately. I did try Buxom for the first time, and I was super excited about that. Um, I do want to get their whole gift set that has like six or eight lip glosses in it, because again, for lip glosses, it doesn't really do me a lot of justice to buy full sizes, because I have so many of them, I won't use them up. And after a while, I don't like to use them, and I end up throwing them away, because um, just the bacteria that could potentially be living in there. So the small sizes do me better, uh, or better for me, rather. So Next, I picked up, okay, dun da 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 I have done um, another video where I mentioned these. I think it was another haul video, and I really like the matte ones. So I was on the hunt for the purple color of the Revlon, what is this called? Revlon Colorburst Matte Balms. I was on the hunt for this purple one here. The purple one has been sold out every single place that I've gone. Every place. And if it wasn't sold out, it had been used. It was the last one and it had been opened and someone had either put it on their mouth or rubbed it on their hand and that's just nasty. Um, I really wish that they would put more of a secure um, plastic over these instead of this little tiny strip that they put on this part right here. Um, I think that might, you know, combat people of actually trying to get into it if it was more securely packaged. But I do really, really love these. I don't care for the glossy lacquer ones. They have too much glitter in them. I didn't expect them to actually have glitter in them. Um, and I bought one of those and a water, one of the other matte ones. Um, it's fine, um, but I do prefer the matte ones. And if you want them glossy, you can always put a gloss on top of them. So when I was at Ulta, they were buy one, get one half off of the Revlon products. And I picked up um, Showy Flamboyant 220. And this is the the bright pink one. And then I picked up the purple one is called Shameless in 215. So I'm excited to use these. If I go anywhere this evening, um, I will be wearing the purple one with my new Urban Decay palette because there's some fun shades that would go really nicely with this in here. All right, so next item I got was I went to the Sephora again that was in JCPenney's and we went there first before we went to the big Sephora because we thought well maybe they'll have the same sales going sorry about that guys my camera just decided to totally stop filming and I don't know why again if any of you guys have a Canon Rebel T3i and this happens to you please let me know how to fix it um because it's kind of annoying anyways so um I, where was where was I at oh yeah so I went to Sephora and the one in JCPenney's thinking that maybe they'll have their sale starting on Thanksgiving Day because the actual sale was not supposed to start till Black Friday, and they did. But the Purity Face Washes were the first thing that went, and we didn't get there until probably like two or three hours after they had already opened JCPenney's. So I did pick up one item that uh, I was wanting to try, and I got the Tarte High Performance Naturals kit for $10. Um, this kit has the Pure Marajuca Oil, it also has the Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder and the Deluxe Lights Camera Lashes 4-in-1 Mascara. So I've been wanting to try this oil here, and I've also been wanting to try the finishing powder. I've heard really good things about Tarte, and I've honestly never tried a Tarte product before. Um, but what better time to try it than getting a little 3-pack for $10. So you do get... I can get it out of the plastic... Oh my goodness. Okay, come on out of the plastic. Come on. Okay, so you get this little tiny thing of the powder, and I believe this is 0.07 ounces, so just enough to try it out for a little while. Um, I do um, think this is going to be a really good powder, especially for blurring imp imperfections, um, especially under my eyes, because I do have quite a few little lines under my eyes. And then you get the Tarte Marajuca Oil, and this is... How many ounces is this? 0.23 fluid ounces of that. So you get this, and this oil, you're supposed to apply it at night, two to three, two to three drops. Um, rub it in your hands, and then rub it together on your clean, dry skin on face and neck. So I probably will try this out tonight to see if I like it. And then you also get the little mascara. It's a little tiny one. 
which will be perfect for me because it will dry up before I use it all. And it doesn't say, yeah, it does, 0 0.110 fluid ounces of the mascara. So you do get that. Pretty nice little gift thing there. I'm excited about that one. And I think that, oh, nope. I also went to Office Depot, and this isn't really beauty or fashion or anything like related, but it's something I bought on Black Friday. And I needed a new memory card for my camera. So they had the 16 gig memory cards um, for, how much did I get this for? I think it was $19.99, I'm pretty sure, or $9.99. I don't really remember, I think it was $19.99. Um, but buyer beware. You guys, pay attention when you're buying stuff. They had everything in the wrong spot um, at Office Depot, so I picked up a 32 gig one and it was under the $19.99 section in several places. And it was actually 30 bucks, so I had to end up telling them, um, no, it says $19.99. It's not my fault if you guys have that stuff put in the wrong spots. Um, they didn't end up honoring it for me, but um, I just went ahead and exchanged the 32 gig for the 16 gig. I didn't really need 32, um, but I thought it was the same price as the 16 gig, so I thought I might as well get the bigger one. So I did get that. And that, I think... Yeah, that's the end of all the stuff that I got on Black Friday. Now, there are a few other items that I've purchased over the last probably month or so. And I wanted to share that stuff with you guys. So I went to Kohl's about a month or so ago. And I got these really cute leather pants or faux leather pleather pants. And they're kind of a kind of a skinny, skinny leg. They're by Lauren Conrad. They're really cute, and you will not believe what kind of price I got these for. So they had been $54, and they've been marked down, looks like, three times. And I got them for $10.80, but I had a coupon to get $10 off $10 or more. And so I picked up a sweater, too. So I got this Jennifer Lopez cute little cream, cream sweater. And if you guys are curious about sizes and stuff... Um, I'm generally a small medium on top if I want the clothes to fit, um, like fit fit. Sometimes I do buy larges if I want my stuff to be a little bit oversized. Some, sometimes if I buy flowy shirts, I like them really flowy and big, so I'll buy a large. Um, this sweater particularly, I didn't want it to be a really big sweater because it's not a long one. It's um, relatively shorter. So I got this one in a small, and this sweater was marked down... It had been $60, and it was marked down 90% off, so 6 bucks. So I got the leather pants and the sweater for, I think I got it for $6, because, yeah, $6, because I had the $10 off $10 coupon. So you really can't pass up sales like that whatsoever. And I picked up a couple other things um, from my job. So I went in the little retail section where I work at, and we had gotten in a lot of Christmas um, themed gift items or whatever. So my mom really, really loves red nail polish. She's kind of obsessed with red, red nail polish. That's the only thing she ever wears is different variations of red nail polish. Usually it's the same color every single week that she gets her nails done. Um, so I decided to get her a little gift set. And it's the OPI um, Dramatic Duo gift set here. You get a red nail polish and you get the black nail polish in it. I don't know if she's going to do anything with the black nail polish, um, but I just thought it was a really cute little gift set. And it comes with a little wristlet here in the back. Um, the colors is, this one here is the Big Apple Red and then this is Black Onyx. So I thought this was a really neat gift set and I got 50% off of it. So yeah, I thought that'd be a nice stocking stuffer. And then for myself, I picked up the All That Shimmers um, gift set. So here in the All That Shimmers gift set, you actually are going to get um, two glitters that you can place on your nails to create designs, and you're also going to get a natural nail base coat and an OPI top coat. So this again was um, half off. I think I got both of them. Let me see if I have the receipt. I do. I got both of them for $13, so you really can't pass up $13 bucks for one Christmas gift and then I took it for myself. And... Last but not least, over the course of the last several months with buying different makeup items and face cleaners and whatnot, I got a bunch of free gift stuff. Um, and I gave some of it away already to my aunt and a couple friends. But these are the items that I chose to keep 
and the free gift. So I kept the Clinique Repair Wear Laser Focus um, Wrinkle Correcting Eye Cream. So I decided to keep this so I could try it out. I used the Repair Wear um, face, face stuff and I really like it. It makes my skin feel really smooth. So I thought I would try the eye cream as well. I also decided to keep the Clinique Rinse Off Foaming Cleanser. You can never have enough cleansers in your collection of cleaning products because I know for me, um, before I started kind of keeping a stockpile of small sample sizes and different brands in my cabinet, I would run out and have to race to find something to wash my face with. It was usually using my husband's face soap that dried my skin out a lot. So I keep kind of a stockpile of these, especially if I'm going traveling or something like that. I know I always have a travel size um, face cleaner. Then I also kept the Lancome um, Definisils Mascara Haute Definition, High Definition Mascara basically, in the color black. Um, so yeah, little sample size of this one. I have a lot of mascara, I told you guys. It's kind of ridiculous. I also kept the Lancome um, Hypnos Drama, because you guys know I love all the Hypnos mascaras. Hyp Hypnos Doll. Hypnos Drama, the original Hypnos. I love these mascaras. Um, I also kept another of the Hypnos Drama because, again, that's my number one. Mas well, I do have a new favorite mascara, and that's going to be coming up in my November favorites. I'm not going to spoil it right now, but there is one that is giving that one a run for its money. And then I also kept the Lancome um, Mascara Base. It's the Booster XL. I really like this stuff. I have a small one of it in my makeup um, collection right now and it's really nice for me if I do remember to put this on before I put mas mascara on um, it is a lot easier for my mascara to come off so I don't know why that is but it is and the last thing that I kept was um, what brand is this I think this is Estee Lauder or Lancome I think it's I don't know I think it's Estee Lauder I'm pretty sure it's Estee Lauder so I kept this little eyeshadow thing and it has one, two, three, four, five eyeshadows in it. Um, the color name is I uh, yeah, Taupe Craze. Taupe Craze is the color this comes in, and it's really nice. It has everything you need kind of right here, so it'll be really good for traveling, um, especially if you don't want to pack a full size palette. It does have a cream color. It has a little bit of a shimmer in it, but not too much for your brow bone. It has a really nice um, blending color, so a matte brown in here. It has a shimmery, kind of a silver taupe, and more of a brownie taupe color that both have shimmer. And then there's also a really nice darker brown that has a little bit of silver glitter in it. And this one would be really good for smoking out like the outer V. So it has everything you need all in this little thing right here. I thought it was a really, really cute, cute palette. And I think, you guys, that is everything that I've purchased over the last month or so. Oh, I did also get, okay, I'm excited about this. I never get limited edition stuff from MAC ever. I'm always late getting to the store or late getting on the website the day it launches, and it's always sold out. So I got a text alert from MAC saying that the new limited edition Black Friday Haute Core Black or something like that lipstick was available on Thanksgiving Day and it wasn't supposed to be available